This has actually been known since Roman times that if you shine light on water, it disinfects it. Recently, we received a provisional patent for the technology that we're developing for treating water with light. We we're very fortunate to receive a National Science Foundation Career Award, which is the most prestigious award that NSF gives out to young faculty like myself. The award was given to us because of the research we're doing using metal nanostructures to better understand and treat diseases like Parkinson's and Alzheimer's. Now those same metal nanostructures we're also using for treating water. And that work was recognized by BASF and we were the first recipients of the BASF Sustainability Lab, which we inhabit currently. There are over 700 million people who do not have access to clean water. Most of these people are in very rural environments where they have limited access to electricity like you and I do. This is where utilizing the power of the sun to treat water is so effective because they have this power available to them. Unfortunately, ultraviolet light, which is what most systems use to treat water, is only 5% of the sun. So in our lab, we develop methods for treating the water with visible light. The larger portion of the spectrum, the visible and the infrared portion of the spectrum, to try to clean water. Now, one of the things that we think is unique about the lab is that we really do have a lot of undergraduates working on that project, doing work that pushes our research forward. And all of them get a lot of hands-on experience doing science. We're at the very early stages of working on our water purification process but we have received some really good preliminary data that gives us promise that we're, we're on a good track. One of the reasons why we work tirelessly to try and do this is to ultimately have some impact on society. To be able to see this technology that we're working on to treat water, help someone in a developing country make a change in their life would be an amazing impact for me and for my students.